An otomi stitch is a dense variation of the herringbone stitch. This is used as a filler and is used in some Mexican style embroideries. Not only is it beautiful, but it adds great texture. For supplies, you'll need cotton fabric, embroidery floss, embroidery hoop, scissors, embroidery needle, and fabric marker or pencil. Put your fabric inside the embroidery hoop, pulling the fabric taut. Use your fabric marker or pencil to draw your design on your fabric. When starting to learn, stick with simple symmetrical shapes. Cut a 12 to 14 inch length of embroidery floss and pull it apart to create a piece consisting of three strands. Because it's a filler stitch, it'll be a little thicker than other types of stitches. Put it on an embroidery needle and tie a knot at the end. Looking at the right side of the fabric, put the needle through the fabric somewhere around the center of your design. The knot will be on the right side of the fabric. Then do two really small stitches near the knot to lock the thread. You can now gently pull the knot up and cut it off. And our floss will still be anchored to the fabric, but the knot is gone. My first stitch, I'm coming from the wrong side to the right side at the top of my design, but I'm not going directly in the center, but a little off center. When I put the needle down again, I'm going directly across. So again, not in the center, but off center, but I'm just going a little bit lower. So it's not a completely level stitch. This is a variation of the herringbone stitch. Now that I've gone down, I'm gonna be on the same side that I just went down, but I'm gonna come directly above it. Go to the opposite side, but instead of going directly across, I'm going a little ways down from my first stitch over on this side. And then I'm going up just a little bit above that second stitch, coming directly across, but a little ways down. And then going just above that stitch, going to the opposite side, a little ways down. So you wanna keep your stitches fairly small because this is a filler stitch. So it's kind of like a satin stitch where you want it to fill in the design. So you're just going back and forth, but every time you put your needle down, you're just going a little ways down on the design and you're using your marking as your guideline. So I'm going a little bit above that last stitch, going across and coming down. And when you're finished, this should all be filled in and your two little stitches right here will be covered up so you won't see it. And on the back, it should look nice and neat and you won't have a knot back there as well. Here's what it looks like when finished. You can see the stitches are crisscrossing over each other which gives the embroidery a cool effect and texture, making it a fun filler stitch to use. Our book, Professor Pincushion's Beginner Guide to Sewing, Garment Making for Nervous Newbies is now available to order. Go to professorpincushion.com forward slash books or click on the link in the description to see a list of vendors where you can purchase it.